Hello there guys, what is going down? This is Ares, and here is me playing the StarCraft 2 beta. And uh, I've had it for a few weeks now, probably about two or three weeks. Um, I've been playing a lot uh, of custom games. I haven't really played a lot of ranked. But I am going to be bringing you a ranked game against a random player. Uh, Ice Spirit was random, and it chose him as Zerg, if you see right here. And uh, it also slightly favored him in the match. So if I were to win this, it would be very good for me. So uh, it's a real good game. I would not do anything else but show you guys good games. Um, so I am scouting after my pylon so that I can figure out what faction he is. And if you actually look, I am scouting to the, <laughs> to the south. And uh, his overlord gets right there. And if you look at the pathing of my probe he leaves right as ice spirit gets there but that would have been good because if uh, I had seen that then he would have known where I was as well so um, I think he scouts in the wrong direction first so uh, anyway a few things to come out of the way uh, StarCraft 2's release date by Blizzard has been set as uh, July 27th so that gives me a lot of time to do Borderlands, so that will be coming sometime, probably after the StarCraft 2 beta is closed or I get bored of it, which uh, I do not see happening. But I just wanted to tell you guys that. And right here he uh, pulls all his drones, which I love when people do that, just because uh, they lose a ton of mining time. And for those of you not uh, familiar with StarCraft 2 or how it works, your drone guys here mine minerals for you and they can also attack they do a very base five damage um, and here's my building the gateway I can make zealots and stuff out of it and pylons give me supply which is right here I do get supply blocked a few times in this uh, game so forgive me for that uh, this is actually my second ranked game as Protoss I've won five games as Zerg um, five games as Terran and now I'm going for my five games as Protoss, and I might be sticking with Protoss because I find them to be a very good faction with their timing push pushes. Um, I don't like. I used to be a real Zerg player, but uh, with the newest patch, Blizzard kind of made uh, the Roach completely worthless. And uh, although I did not use it too much, I don't like having less options. So I've decided to switch over Protoss, uh, which they did nerf with the last patch. Um, of course, with the patch, they also buffed the Thor, the Terran giant mechanical unit. And I was kind of not too happy about that. They made it smaller, basically. <laughs> so uh, here I got my Zealot. Yeah, people are, people are calling the Roach the new Zealot, because Zealot does 8 times 2 and the roach does 16 but now they both take two food but anyway uh... here i'm getting my uh... cybernetic score after my gateway no no funny business and getting my warp gates which do allow my gateways to become to become uh... giant teleporting gateways of death and uh... i hadn't really scattered what my opponent done had done i saw that he was getting his spawning pool around 14 supply so nothing um, kind of crazy there. So I was getting down my robotics facility because I thought that he was going to be going roaches, but because most roaches, or most players do go roaches now, uh, but uh, he went banelings, which they are uh, evolved from the zergling, and uh, they are, yeah, they're a suicide unit, kind of like the scourge, and they blow up and they do a very large area of effect, and I think they do... Uh, I'll have to wait for him to morph one, but I'm pretty sure they do like 40 damage against units and like 50 or 80 against uh, buildings. Um, but with my tiny choke right here, it's going to be kind of difficult for him to get anything done. So I am getting my robotics facility up, and my warp gates just finished, so I am going to be transforming all of my gateways into warp gates, which they allow me to instantly teleport units uh, onto the battlefield like so. Um, I'm going to be getting two sentries, which are the uh, default, they're the gateway casters. There's also the High Templar, which uh, I don't really care for in this game. I would prefer to get 
physical troops. I've seen games where uh, this one guy went, it was kind of an older uh, video, but he went just High Templar spam, and I think he ended up losing against Mass Hydras, but it was kind of an interesting build that I just don't like High Templar, because they deal a lot with like whether or not you cast your spells in the correct area. But your sentries do allow you to put down force fields, which cover about the span of this bridge right here. And um, it can be very good to hold off like this uh, me large melee, large amount of melee units, which uh, I was very lucky that I actually caught that and that he did not run this entire thing into my base because then I would have lost a big time. So I think I warp in, no, I warp in a zealot and two stalkers so that I can hit his guys after I put down a force field because zealots are melee and they cannot attack through a force field. So there, he did move up a ba baneling. They do... Okay, here, I'll check real quick. Um, let's see. Okay, 20 damage, and then plus 15 versus light, and zealots are uh, light and biological. Stalkers are armored. And this is my immortal, who is my counter to the roaches that are not going to be coming out for a very long time. So uh, usually I would get... Uh, more zealots to counter these zerglings, but he did have the banelings, which uh, don't pose too much of a threat, but they can kill my zealots if I don't put all my units in the correct area, because right now I have them in a pretty good... Uh, I got my sentries ready to cast some stuff, and I think I supply block myself a little bit here with that immortal. Yeah. But uh, I did just take down about six banelings with uh, their... Uh, cl uh, their splash damage which they do inflict onto their friends so one detonates and he does 10 damage to the other one and it just kinda spirals down here I just finally realized that I supply blocked myself I think and I think I am gonna be getting charged sometime soon but there his banelings just killed all of his zerglings again so, I'm going to move out here and take my expansion, which, if you guys have not seen, my mineral count is much higher, or sort of higher than my gas. And at this point, I was expecting him uh, to go roaches, because I have my observer in his base, and I see the roach warren and morphing to lair, but I did not see his expansion. Um, I ended up checking for it, just because I was 